Gabba gabba gabble. Gabble. Gabba gabba gabble. I'm a turkey. Gabba gabba gabble. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen, to another Turkey Day special. Turkey Day season 2 here in my Madden 15 Lions Connected franchise. What's up, all you beautiful, gorgeous, succinct people out there? Here we are, busting out some jerseys from 1997 we're kicking it like it's 1999 up in here up in detroit ford field they're handing the ball off to matt forte matt forte is going to run through a defender pick up six yards on the carry jay cutler last time we played the chicago bears really tore us apart along with matt forte they really did their work on us and he almost gets sacked right there but Unfortunately, he, for us, he gets the ball off on time. So now they're looking at third and short, third and short. And he throws it out to Bennett in the flat round. Bennett's going to pick up a first down for the Chicago Bears offense. Jay Cutler dropping back for the pass. He's looking to Matt Forte in the short underneath round. And he picks up one yard maybe on the play at most. So anyways, guys, we lost to the Chicago Bears last time. I think that's Kellen Winslow coming up with the reception right there. Slanting across the middle. He runs through one defender. And then he's brought down at the 13-yard line. But anyways, as I was saying, we lost to the Chicago Bears last time we faced them, giving them their first win of the season. And since then, they've gone 2-8. and eight. We're seeing a pretty record of 7-3. Sit your ass down. Eric Berry laying the boom. Welcome to the Thunderdome. But anyways, as I was saying, they got their first win of the season against us. So I really want to get some revenge against there. We shouldn't have lost that game. It was really just bad timing. A couple weeks back, when we made that first trade, really didn't know what we had. We made those trades, pick up Arian Foster. Deshaun Jackson with nothing but green ahead of him. Whoop! You didn't see that one coming, did you, man? But now Arian Foster, the past two weeks, has really been on a roll. He's almost eclipsing that 100-yard mark each and every week. So hopefully we can get him there today. Second and final, I'm just going to run the ball with Arian Foster. He's becoming my workhorse. Slowly but surely, we haven't had this running game in Detroit as far as as long as I've been there so hopefully Amy Foster can keep this work up right here running the power O and running through around defenders to the 20 to the 15 and brought down at the 14 yard line great run by Arian Foster looking into the corner out Des Brent's gonna bring in that touchdown reception and the Lions are gonna tie this game at 7 to 7 great offensive drive right there great way of incorporating the run and the pass game that's really what I'm looking to do. That's really what I've been looking to do with most of the season. We are too dangerous on offense to be one-dimensional. We should be able to run and we should be able to throw the ball on pretty much anyone unless they have a completely stout defense, kind of like Seattle. Get your ass down, dude. Not anymore, Matt Forte. One thing we're going to have to do on defense is bottle up Matt Forte. He really had his a field day against us last time, and I cannot let him do that this time. One minute left to go in the first quarter. Matt Forte is trying to get out on the edge again. Sit your ass down. Welcome to the Thunderdome, part two. Once again, welcome to the Thunderdome, part three. Sit your ass down, Matt Forte. It's going to be a hard-hitting game when you play us. Bennett on the cut back, and he's going to pick up the first down on that long 38. And here we go, guys. We're going into the second quarter with the tie game, 7-7. Seven to seven. As I said, that offensive drive, our offensive drive was really good. Defensively, we had to wrap up a few things, prevent the long passes, prevent them, get them off the field because they're having those third down conversions. I really want to stop that. Coming up on the pick almost was Adonna Kinsu almost coming up with the pick. I sent a blitz right there, second and ten. I was expecting them to pass, so I'm dropping back in the zone, and I ripped the ball out with Steven Talk. He says no, he says nay, he says get your ass out of here. Oh, I was going for that hit stick. really didn't work. So here we go with a 53-yard field goal for the Chicago Bears offense. It's going, going, and it's good. A long field goal kick from way deep in Force Field is going to be good to give the Chicago Bears a 10-7 lead with seven minutes left to go in the start of this second quarter. All right, what you got, Deshaun Jackson? I'm feeling like this is going to be Deshaun Jackson's day. So anyways, guys, handing the ball off, and there's no blocking whatsoever. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Get your ass off me. To the 20, to the 10, touchdown Lions. Arian Foster with the 77 yard run. If 
here, Arian Foster. If you just scored a 77-yard touchdown run, the longest run for him of the season, you got to bow down like a samurai and realize the Chicago's Bear defense has no answer for us right now. Back-to-back -back touchdowns, they have no answer whatsoever besides field goals. Matt Forte really scares me right here, but luckily I bring him down at the, about the 50-yard line, 49-yard line, give or take. I was seeing a blitz here, but I... You know, switch out of it, and they run a draw with Matt Forte. You have to be aware. You have to, you know, adjust at the line of scrimmage. If you think they're going to be running it when they come out in a power spread or maybe a strong eye or an eye formation, anything like that, two tight end set, switch it up, make it sure you're in that run defense mentality. But if they come out in the shotgun, typically they're going to be running the ball. Nobody in this game, oh, hit stick again. But nobody really runs the ball out of shotgun. So if they do, it's more so of a draw or something like that. It's no like base run or anything like that. Usually, I like the blitz on those shotgun. Like right here is usually when I like the blitz, especially in third and thirteen when they have to get conversion. And I picked the ball off with Desmond Trufant. Spin move, spin move. Oh baby, going, going. Fat guy almost brought me down. Fat guy did bring me down. So there we go. We picked the ball in the red zone. Great stop by our defense. Finally coming up with the stand. And now I'm going to run a screen right here to Arian Foster. Arian Foster with the big fat. He's in front of him. Running through defenders. Slicing and dicing. Getting a first down on the place. Really want to, I wanted to run a counter right here. Finds a sliver through the offensive line. And picks up seven yards. Running the ball again. Power offense is really what I like to do. And I get stopped because no left tackle wanted to block on that play. Dropping back. He can go for the slant. Right, Des Bryant comes up with the pass but it's knocked out of his hands, unfortunately, so we're forced to punt the ball on this series. Two minutes left to go in the first half. Great first half, great run game established. Defensively, we got a turnover, which is what we needed. That really killed their momentum and gave us most of the momentum, especially after that set. Oh, pick, baby. Nope. But it gave us most of the momentum in this series, or in this first half is what we need. And Jay Keller, you're going nowhere there. You're too slow for that. Taylor's going to come up with a sack. Our left defensive end. And now they're third and long once again. These third and long is really killing us. And Jay Keller is going to be brought down by Taylor again. Two sacks on the series. Killed their drive. But as I was saying, guys. You know, we really want all this momentum, especially when we're going to get the ball about the 50-yard line after this return from Deshaun Jackson. We have a great opportunity here to make this a two-touchdown game, or a two-possession game, I should say. Oh, baby. Oh, I was going nothing but green ahead of me. That's a touchdown saving tackle. Dang it. Going deep. And I hit the curl route to Megatron. First and 10, I'm running nothing there because Reggie Bush apparently can't block. That was a stretch right there. Reggie Bush didn't want to block on play run. A power out once again. I love that power out run game. And now it's 39. Play action right here. Hitting Calvin Johnson over the middle. He's going to make the reception and give us a first down at the 7 yard line. I call timeout and now we're just going to try to run the ball. I think we have, you know, we have enough timeouts right here to where we have the Luxury of running the ball, but I get jacked and I get stopped right there. So now we have to be in a hurry up mode, hurry up mode, and slam around and touchdown. Des Bryant, he reached over the plane, broke the plane, touchdown lines. Or maybe not. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, run the ball right here from the first. Uh, from the one yard line and I get nothing so now we're in hurry up mode we have to get to the line of scrimmage three seconds left in the first half come on run one play and we get the ball off just in time running a play action nobody's open I'm just gonna throw it up and it's gonna get batted down that reverse of that touchdown really killed me I thought I had Des Bryant in a smart route um, apparently that really didn't happen so that cost us seven points right there and that may cost us end up costing us the game Theo Reddick on the return, he's to the 20, and he's going to be brought down about at the 21-yard line. Short return on the play. Got us that extra yard to where we can start at the 21-yard line. Audibling right here. Des Bryant comes down with the reception off the laser from Matthew Stafford. And now we're just going to go on that grind, baby. All right, Collins, going motion over there. Jack Collins taking Reggie Bush's spot, and he does nothing but I cut up the middle, and that was really a bad decision on my part. Where's the blocking, Megatron? We're really, bro, Megatron, really? Third and nine, we have to come up with a reception right here, and we do. Julio Jones says, get off me, son. Throwing out that big old stiff arm, that stiffy, that stiffy, stiff arm. And now I run a counter right here, and there's nothing going. Arian Foster, since that long touchdown run, has no yards on the play, no yards on most play, and then I bounce it out to the outside. Arian Foster, to this day, to right now, has 15 rushes for about 150 for a buck 50. Going deep, and Ebron comes down with the flounce from Matthew Stafford to give us that two possession lead. There we go, Ebron. One pride, baby, Ebron. 
But that first half for Aaron Fessler was really, really a big deal. Guys, I forgot to mention last week, and I forgot to, I've been forgetting to mention. Keep giving me those plays that you want to see in this these videos. Keep telling me the play, because I want to do like a play of a week type thing, maybe on offense and defense. But make sure you're looking at that offensive playbook for the Lions, so that way I know that's actually in there, because I don't want to be looking for plays. If they're not actually in there, then I'm just going to run out of time to call your play. So keep submitting those plays. As I said before, and as I've tried to make this series as interactive as possible, as Brandon Marshall is going, going to the 10, to the 5, touchdown Bears. They make it a one-possession game off that long touchdown from Jake Cutler to Brandon Marshall, but they're going for two here to make it a field goal game, and now we're coming up with the zone defense, trying to prevent the pass, because we know they're in a shotgun. I completely I messed that up. I come up with a user interception from Levy. Good job, Levy, and that's going to kill their drive off after the touchdown, so they're still more it's still an, a touchdown game they try to get a field goal but now Deshaun Jackson has nothing but green to have I'm gonna slow it down right here so that way we can get to the box up to the 20 to the 10 to the 5 touchdown kick return on the play our first kick return in a Madden 15 franchise setting Deshaun Jackson bring it to the house brought it to the house baby but anyways as I was saying guys Keep giving me those suggestions on offense and on defense. I'm probably just going to limit it to one because I usually was doing it before. But if you don't get your play picked, don't worry. Don't fret. I still have a couple more weeks left in this Madden 15 franchise. And I'm still going to be continuing to do it. Matthew Stafford. Or not Matthew Stafford. Jay Cutler looking for someone open. He's going to hit the fly route. And then Kellen Winslow Jr., the former Miami Hurricane, the former Cleveland Browns, going to come up with a seven-yard gain. Then they hit the slant route. And it's a first down. I believe that was to Brandon Marshall. Now they're running the ball with Matt Forte. He has nothing but green ahead of him. Touchdown saving tackle right there from Prince Amica Mara. Jay Cutler looking for a receiver. He has nobody open. He has all day to throw. He's going nowhere. Hit that sticker. All right, guys. Fourth quarter. We're up by 12 so you know what that means get your forwards up get them up get them up Lions fans Madden fans get your forwards up I need them connected franchise fans get your forwards up and keep giving me the suggestions down in the comment section below but anyways guys here we go fourth quarter get those fours up Jick sticker hit that sticker jack them up but that really didn't work out in my favor second and five they're driving down the field another slant round he just got decked that was Alshon Jeffries I do believe getting that hit stick to the face he's gonna come up with nothing but turf in his face max first down on the play oh lordy that's not good now it's first and goal from the six yard line five minutes left to go in the fourth quarter four five minutes to go left in the game they're on screen right and they have nothing but green ahead of them and we bring him down before he can get into the touchdown second and goal here from the five yard line once again Jay Cutler looking to complete a pass into the end zone he throws it short and he's going to the bout of the two yard line maybe if it it's a generous spot the one yard line and they're running a play right here and you're going nowhere third and goal they're gonna have to go for it on fourth down i'm expecting a pass and they confuse me and they run the ball but luckily i was still blitzing on the play and we bring him down that's gonna give us guys that's gonna give us the win if we can kill the clock right here man in motion ebron in motion handing it off to the workhorse arian foster he's really having all day arian was just completely rolling on this well, not there right there because he just got completely dropped. But Arian Foster was rolling and running and killing this Bears defense on the stage. He was picking up first downs for us. And you can see I'm in the true clock mentality. Great, decent run right there. Maybe pick up five yards if we're lucky. If we get a decent spot. He has 159 rushing yards on the day. No gain really right there. So now we're forced to really pass the ball on third and six. I'm running a screen out just to play it safe. And there's no completion. It was almost picked off. And if he would pick that ball off, they would have been going to the house. But as I was saying, unfortunately, we couldn't kill enough clock, so they're going to have enough time if they convert and get a touchdown here to kick the, the onside kick and maybe win the game. But, you know, this stout defense, this cardiac cat mentality as we come up with a sack on the play, Jay Cutler has no room to breathe, no air to breathe. How you going to breathe with no air, no air, air? You're going nowhere. Yes, I just went Jordan Sparks on you guys right there and Chris Brown. That's how I roll. Anyways, third and 20, third and a mile, third and like a distance from the sun to Jupiter. It's forever and more. And now it's fourth and nine after that long completion. They're throwing it underneath. That was a big mistake because I'm just going to drop you. Game over. We get our revenge against the Chicago Bears if we can kill all that one time out. And now we're going to run one more play on second and five. And then if we get first down here, we're going to knee the ball, guys. And we're going to take that victory formation kneel down victory formation great win great day by arian foster stay frosty guys i love yeah 